Irving Penn is an artist who took photography where he had never been before. The bold and daring work now on display at the Dallas Museum of Art. Uh, Dan Godwood talks with the exhibit curator in tonight's Fox Forward. It's one image after another that just grabs you and demands your attention. Close to 150 photographs from the 70-year career of Irving Penn. The exhibit is called Beyond Beauty at the Dallas Museum of Art. The curator is Mary Foresta. Thanks for coming in. Happy to be here. So where does Irving Penn fit in when you're talking about uh, 20th century photographers. Well, he's one of the greats because he was seen so much in the pages of Vogue. He worked for Vogue for many, many, many years and thousands and thousands of people saw it. You might not have thought you were looking at an Irving Penn, but you certainly recognize the images. So he's known for fashion, portraits, and still life. And there, there's a, a couple of photos we've chosen uh, that we'd like to get your take about uh, sure. for his American South series. This is a young guy, leaves New York, gets on a train to go south. He's ultimately going to Mexico, but he takes the train south. And every time the train stopped, he would get off the train with his camera and photograph. And he was really attracted to these young African Americans who would be working around the train station. And this particular image is great, I think, because he's framed it so that the signs um, come in and point you to this little boy who is quite stylish. And this gives you a, an, a, an idea of the pen that would come that would pay attention to fashion and style and texture and fabric. And it's just a great pre-pen, if you will. He took pictures of lots and lots of models over the years, uh, including his wife, about a year after they were married, Elisa Fonsagraves Penn. She was widely considered, what, in the early 50s, the world's first supermodel. She was a supermodel. She was uh, an extraordinary, um, beautiful woman. Many photographers took her picture, um, and she and Penn fell in love. Penn would be the first one to say that he learned how to photograph fashion from the models. He learned how to capture the light and where the folds of the fabric fell. These were um, not only uh, his instructors, but in the case of Lisa, certainly she was his muse. His overall take on beauty, it was, it was unique to him. I mean, there was nothing, so often, there was nothing really mainstream about it. Absolutely. I think you have to appreciate that um, when Penn first started becoming Penn, there was no one else like him. I mean, he forged a style that I think photographers today are still using as a, as a reference. But increasingly, as he got older, the amazing thing about Penn is he got, he got bolder. He got more daring than even into the 2000s, when he is in his 80s and in his early 90s um, are still some of the most amazing, shocking, beautiful pictures that you will see. Mary Foresta, thank you so much. The work of Irving Penn, Beyond Beauty, the exhibit happening through mid-August at the Dallas Museum of Art. We've got a link at our website. Just go to fox4news.com.